Hey friends, it's another HVAC video. So I'm gonna be working on the air handler behind me. Remember to like the video if you enjoy it, subscribe and hit that alert button or the little bell icon so you know when I post new videos. Be sure to check out my playlist because that's how I organize videos. So I put a coat of mastic on here yesterday, but I don't have anybody to help me move this air handler in. My best friend who would normally help me caught COVID again. Uh, his partner went to Honduras, came back with a prize. So yeah, COVID is alive and well. And, um, you know, both of them are vaccinated. They got the booster, whatever, you know. Seems to be a mild illness, so hopefully he'll be better in a week or so. But until then, I'm on my own. I got plenty of time with this. Um, my other friend he, that would do this kind of stuff has kids. So at any rate, it's not a big deal. Um, this project, ah, so I'm getting the, ma the bucket of mastic open. This project was designed to not be a rush. That's why I put in a mini split in my bedroom so that I would not have to hustle or rush on this. Now the instructions call for a 0.028 inch thick. I'm going to just put it real simple, gob this crap on. You want a nice thick coat and you want at least a, a I think you need at least two coats. Uh, this stuff's kind of expensive, but once you own the bucket, there's only so much you can do with it, so you might as well get your use out of it. Um, if they had sold it in less than a gallon, I would have happily bought it that way. That was not an option. And honestly, it feels like oatmeal or... Um, drywall mud. I mean, it's sort of like drywall mud meets paint. And you want to work it into every single little crack and crevice that you have taped up because that's how it does its job. Protect the floor that you're working on. Uh, I'm using cardboard in addition to some scrap styrofoam that will be in Tuesday's trash. And you just want to get a nice thick coat. This has a 16 hour cure time or set time. So, you know, you got time is on your side if you're not in a hurry. And in my opinion, this is much easier to do when it is not in, a, in an attic. Now, if you call HVAC person to come out and install a system, they don't have a couple days for the mastic to dry. So yeah, they're gonna do it in the attic and they're not gonna come back and put in two coats. So hopefully they'll do a good job the first time. And you might be understanding at this point why I'm doing this myself. If you can wrap a present, you can do duct work. In fact, I can't wrap a present and I can do duct work. That's funny, I recycled this uh, media filter housing. Uh, this was on the old unit. You wanna be sure to work into all these little crevices because you just don't want air leaks. Air leaks are not your friend. So we're gonna come around and work on this part.
The tape does the heavy lifting and the mastic plugs the gaps. pretty good there. Um, I had a little bit more to do inside. I need to repair some of the duckboard where it lifted up on me. So I'm not really sure what happened here. Um, it lifted up right in this spot. So I'm going to add some tape to this and then I'm going to mastic the hell out of it. And one of my challenges is I've got to adapt this existing duckboard to um, the new unit. I don't know how I want to do that yet. Um, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't have the answers yet. I really need to get the unit in here before I have those answers. But let me get the tape. How'd tape go? There it is. And considering how much I, I did a lot of fabrication on this duct uh, board. So, I mean, I built an entire plenum out of this stuff and several transition and, and junction boxes. This is really the only place I've had any issues with it whatsoever. Well, it doesn't want to stick to that be part of the issue. All right, let me get that out of there because this is going to be messy. So let me go get the mastic. Actually, I think I have a pretty easy idea on this. This duck board's a little nasty looking. Had some leaks in the, in the um, old air handler and I didn't realize they were there until I removed it. And they pulled dust in but we're going to we're going to change it we're actually probably I'm probably going to put the UV filter in uh, I bought it with the old unit and just never put it in 7 years ago it was always one of those yeah I'll get around to it Shit. 
Okay, so that looks pretty good at that point. Didn't realize I was wearing one of my nicer shirts. Would not have worn a nice shirt for this. So at this point, we're going to pause. And that's it for today, this video. So um, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. It's real short and sweet. I'm gonna work on another project.